Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and uh, some new cards came out today, but first let me uh, collect this Chase Daniels and Jeremy Macklin and finish up this collection, uh, see how much better they get. Hopefully Macklin's good enough for me to start him now. I'm also going to try to finish up the Texas one. I only got eight more players to go. Uh, don't know how much I'm going to be playing the Madden early release, so uh, not quite sure about that. Okay, the back all the way out. Okay, so Macklin's a 92. Pretty good, pretty good. He pro I'd probably use him. Uh, I'll send him my actives, and Chase Daniels is a 92. So Macklin went up by 4. Chase Daniels went up by 3. Uh, so there's them. Also have a collection coming up later today, hopefully. Maybe I'll just include the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the uh, Texas collection with that. I made one addition, or actually two additions to my team. Uh, I kind of went away from the M effect, uh, probably a chain my name back, the Heartbreakers. Uh, but I picked up LaMichael James and Pat White. Uh, Pat White was one of my favorite college quarterbacks. Um, the one, the year they went 11-1 and and got beat by Pittsburgh in the last game, uh, that, that was one of my favorite uh, years uh, when I watched Pat White and Steve Slayton. Uh, they were just a beast pair. They better be a dynamic duo, even though I don't think Pat White or Steve Slayton has a gold card, so they can't really have a dynamic duo, but they really should. Um, another one, probably Colt McCoy and Jordan Shipley. That would be another good, um, whatchamacallit, another good uh, dynamic duo. So here are the Kel these new cards. I'll start out with the one that I want the most, but I'm not going to buy because it's way too expensive and it's not worth it. Uh, let's load this up, and there he is, Patrick Peterson, limited edition Patrick Peterson. 700,000 coins, 95 overall, gives a boost to speed. These are the first boosted cards that came out. Gives plus one to speed, uh, best boost available, but let's compare them up against Charles Woodson. Uh, pr pretty much the biggest comparison you want to make. Um, almost there in man. Uh, press and zone are, are close. Tackle, he's got way better tackling. He's got 11 better tackling. Uh, a little slower, a little less agility, same awareness. Um, but for his price, I wouldn't pay it. Um, I consider paying about 500000 for him. Anything really over that, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna necessarily play him. Uh, let's go to the next card that I want, uh, but once again, is way too expensive for me to even consider buying it. It is Des Bryant. Let, I think I believe these are all limited. They're all limited edition, but I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know if they're numbered or what. Uh, so there's Des Bryant. Let's see how much he's going for. It means there's one at the bottom of this page. Three hundred twenty-five thousand. Uh, not too bad for him. I might actually pick him up, uh, depending. If he drops like 250, I don't really care about my coins anymore. I might just go pick him up. He's got 96 spec catch. Uh, so I might consider getting this Des Bryant. Uh, I do really like Des Bryant, so I'm, I'm thinking about getting him at least. Uh, next we have uh, DJ Fluker, I'll just tell you. Uh, he is O-Line Alabama. He wasn't on the auction. He's been going off and on, and I hope he's on because I really would like to show you guys. And there he is, 350,000 for DJ Fluker. Only a 93, but he gets plus one to run block. He's got great strength, great good, great pass blocker. Not the greatest run blocker though. Uh, good impact blocking. He's an all-around good player, but I mean, there's no reason unless you really like Alabama or DJ Fluker or just like limited edition cars. There's no real reason to get him. Uh, because there are plenty of guys that are just as good or better. Uh, you got plenty of options, really. But uh, Gabe, but uh, not Gabe Creamy. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, the final card is Luis Castillo, or Ca I don't. I think it, it's Castillo. But I mean, they put it. I think they made it. I think they made it wrong. Maybe they fixed it. Uh, no, not Nebraska Northwestern. Where's Northwestern? There it is. And there, yeah, they fixed it. It was Catillo for the longest time, so good thing they changed it to Castillo. Uh, but his Black Shed is plus one, and he's got good stats, but he's only a 91. Uh, no reason why I would get him at a 91 overall. Uh, I've got, whatchamacallit, um, let's see here. 
who do I have? I think I have Richard Seymour and Warren Sapp, and then I'll probably get the Indomitian Sioux eventually, the Heisman uh, Heisman winner. So, yeah, oh, that was the other pickup. I picked up Richard Seymour, uh, Quentin Jammer. I don't know if you guys saw me. I picked him up. Uh, but my team is relatively the same. I finally have gotten back on this game and decided to play it a little bit. Uh, so I will bring you guys more content as we go. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to keep doing this after Madden 25 releases. I'll probably keep playing it now and again. Uh, so it's really up to you guys if you want to continue to see content on it. Because I'm glad they had put it out. Uh, the only reason I haven't been uploading a whole lot recently is because I, like I said, I've had to do stuff with college. Uh, but Friday, today is Friday, next Friday, um, I will be at college. Uh, I gotta set up all my crap. And then I can start making videos on the reg again. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all later. Peace out, guys.